Adopted Chinese baby girl behaves strangely after she started listening to a grandfather clock. If one thing this story proves is that everything happens has a specific reason, though the reason might not be seen on that very moment, but with time we realize, yeah, things aren't that bad, and eventually everything worked out. This sweet couple adopted a one-month-old baby who was left abandoned in a shoebox. Yes, you read it right. This baby was in a shoebox when this couple found her, and little did they know, their life would change forever. This baby came into their lives and brought a new ray of hope. This new light took away all the darkness that was there in their lives, and soon nothing was the same. This family deserved all the happiness this world has to offer. Many relationships fall apart, but this couple stayed with each other in a difficult time because they believed in each other. What is one good thing about bad times is the fact that bad times too pass. Let's read this amazing story, which would surely melt your heart. Yes, Chuck and Kim play a very important role in this story, but it is the clock that changed everything for the family. You must be wondering what a clock has to do with the family. Be a little patient just like Chuck and Kim, and soon you'll find out the role played by the clock. Time heals everything, and in this case, it was the clock, literally. Chuck and Kim have been in love for a very long time now. In his heart, Chuck knew that Kim was the one for him and with whom he wanted to spend the rest of his life. But proposing to her was the biggest challenge Chuck has ever faced, but he was determined to make that happen. And when he was ready, he proposed to Kim and said everything he felt for her. Even Kim had feelings for him, and she always knew that Chuck is more than a friend, but she was afraid to reciprocate her feeling. She couldn't lose a friend just because she felt something for him, but Chuck had something else in mind. And on one lucky day, he got down on his knees, and that's when the two hearts became one. Kim was surprised by Chuck's proposal and was left speechless, but Chuck knew it was a yes and held her hand to never leave it again. They got married in 1982, and even after 30 years, their love didn't leave this couple. After two years of marriage, the couple welcomed a new member into their lives that almost completed the family, but they soon found themselves buried inside a hollow space that seemed like a normal world but had nothing to offer them. But what changed? So finally, nine months long wait was over and the couple welcomed a new member into their lives. Their firstborn son, which they named Brad, made them the happiest couple in the world. Chuck was in tears while he held his son in his arms. Kim could see tears of joy falling from Chuck's eyes that reflected a bright light when they saw their son. Chuck says it was a feeling too difficult to describe in words. It was pure bliss. Soon, the couple decided to give Brad a sibling. Chuck and Kim were more than happy with this gift that came into their lives through Brad and soon decided to take the next step, but things took a very sharp turn that left their lives shattered. They wouldn't have imagined something this miserable would happen to them, but it did. After their first son, Brad, was born, Chuck and Kim decided to have a sibling for their little son. After a year and a half, the couple was expecting their second child, but things didn't go as planned and the child didn't even get the chance to see the world. His little feet never touched soil, which would have offered him the happiness and all the love this couple was ready to gift him. Being a mother, Kim was left heartbroken. This tragedy left a huge scar in their lives, but something amazing was waiting for the couple, which they never thought would come. Chuck and Kim made sure that their plan wouldn't affect their son, Brad. They loved him deeply and tried their best to give him all the love they could. Even being a child, Brad could sense that something terrible had happened with their loving mama and papa. Both Chuck and Kim could feel the absence of their lost second child, and it was this absence and pain which made them take this decision and that soon changed everything. The adoption. It took them 16 years to decide whether they were ready to adopt. Adopting a child isn't as easy as it looks. It's a very hard battle with oneself before one gathers up all the courage and moves on this path. Kim and Chuck holding each other hand to adopt a child in 2000. 
they adopted a baby girl named Caitlin through an adoption agency, but the couple could still feel that something was missing, and it was then they decided to fill this emptiness when they heard about an abandoned baby 8,000 miles away in China. The story of this baby in a far world would crush your soul. In an interview with the CBN in 2015, Chuck told, God had a plan for another daughter in our lives, and surely God was watching over this couple and soon gifted them the most beautiful things they could ask for. On one end of the world, this couple was wishing for some kind of miracle that would take away all their pain, and on the other end, in Hunan, China, a baby girl was left in a paper box, unknown of what was going to happen to her. When fate comes into play, nobody has the ability to beat it, and being a mere human, all we could do was bow down to it. But this time, fate wanted to show happiness upon this couple, and soon they found out the reason why God took away something most precious from their lives. They were destined to bring this kid home, who has a very heartbreaking story. She was just one month old when she was left abandoned in a shoebox. Why would somebody do that? The reason would shock you to the core. If you don't know, then let us tell you something about China that proves that every coin has two different sides. The one-child policy of China was imposed on the citizen to curb the population, which saw some drastic change in a few years that made them the most populated country in the world. And because of this one-child policy, families started abandoning their first child if it was a girl. Everyone wants a boy who can carry the family name, but doesn't realize that to achieve that, we need what we leave abandoned. But she was lucky because very far away from her, somebody was wishing to have her into their life. When they first heard about the baby girl left abandoned in a paper box, they knew she was the missing part that they kept searching in their lives. It was 2003, the story about a child abandoned in a paper box was reported. The couple didn't delay and booked the next flight to China to meet their destiny. Chuck and Kim said God had a plan for another daughter in our lives, but little did they know it would be a clock that would play a vital role in changing their newly adopted daughter and their lives. They thought it would be an easy task to locate the whereabouts of this child, but after landing in China, they realized it's not easy. They contacted several adoption agencies in China to learn more about where they can find her, but nothing was helping this poor couple. They searched all over the internet and newspaper feeds, but the location of this girl remained a mystery to them. While going through the internet where they read about the train station where she was found, Chuck knew where to start and they visited the same train station where they learned that she was shifted to an old orphanage house. What happened next will bring tears to your eyes. Chuck said in an interview, God just said, that's where you gotta be. So they were in China and after a lot of difficulties, found out about the girl who was shifted to an old orphanage house. Chuck and Kim didn't delay it further. Both were very excited to meet the baby girl, but the thought of what if she doesn't like them back, or what if the orphanage house won't allow them to take her, but till the time you won't ask the answer, would always be a no. But they had to see the girl, and the rest is up to God whatever he decides. Just by seeing her photograph, the couple fell in love with her and decided that she would be the one who would complete the family in all terms. There were 13 families in total from America who desired to adopt this cute, innocent baby girl. But it was Chuck and Kim who were able to hold the girl in their arms and brought her home. The couple named her Kenzie. So enough with the baby girl. Her name is Kenzie. Little Kenzie would soon change everything for the Walker family. Ironically, it was the clock back at home waiting for little Kenzie to arrive. After signing all the necessary documents, Chuck and Kim were now proud parents of Kenzie. Just by holding her in their arms, they could feel their family getting complete. Now it was time to take her away from the place which brought her such difficulties at this age and take her back to Texas to her new home where she will start her new life. Things were just getting better and where something unexplainable happened. Kenzie soon adapted with the new family and Chuck and Kim became her new mama and papa. She even got along with her siblings, Brad and Caitlin. The poor, abandoned child now had a happy family. Chuck and Kim never made Kenzie realize that she was adopted and loved her the same way they loved Brad and Caitlin. 
One day, while playing with the old clock in the house, some strange thing happened that shocked both Chuck and Kim. Kenzie soon became part of the family and her favorite place inside the house was near the clock. A big old wooden grandfather clock became her new friend. Even Chuck and Kim were surprised to see her daughter spending hours near the table while their other two kids played with their favorite toys. What was so interesting about this clock that made Kenzie so attracted? Soon they found out the reason and the reason changed their world in the most amazing way. The story is just about to get more interesting. So every time the family's grandfather clock struck the hour, little Kenzie would sing along with it. Surprisingly, she made the same sound as the clock. It was one of these times the parents found out her hidden talent. She had a natural gift that soon changed everybody's lives. Little Kenzie wouldn't have imagined that her singing along with the clock would make her world famous. Kim said in an interview, she walked up to it and looked at it and mimicked the sound, exactly on the pitch. Little Kenzie was left abandoned in a paper box because her biological parents wanted a boy who can carry their name forward. But as we already said, everything happens for a reason. She found a new home and where she discovered her hidden talent that would change her life in the most amazing way. The voices she made as a child soon turned into melody, and every time she sang, her parents couldn't be more proud. They loved to hear her singing every time the clock struck. Chuck would even leave his work behind just to hear his little princess sing. As she grew older, things started changing for her. One of the most interesting things about Kenzie was her voice that was naturally beautiful. She was gifted with one of the most amazing voices a person could ask for. Every parent wants their child to say their first word, but Chuck and Kim heard their little baby sing the first time she started speaking. They knew Kenzie has something really special, and with proper training, she could reach heights, and she did. Soon their neighbors learned about Kenzie's talent and everybody wanted to hear her sing. Even in family gatherings, Kenzie was asked to sing for them. Her voice was something different that made people listen to her quietly and peacefully. People couldn't get enough of her voice, but little did she know, soon a small audience of personal friends would change into her singing in front of thousands of people. Kenzie says that she doesn't remember even a single day she hasn't sung. Wherever she is or went, she sang everywhere. Soon her talent would be heard by thousands of people who would be mesmerized by her beautiful voice. But like other singers who wished to become a playback singer, she had something else planned for herself. She wanted to change the world. Kenzie became really popular and soon she was asked to sing the national anthem before a baseball game, which was taking place in Houston Astros. She returned to amaze the public several times and her parents were just proud of her and her hard work. They loved watching their daughter sing in front of thousands of people. Kim is very proud of her daughter. She recalls the moment when Kenzie first walked in front of thousands of people staring right at her. My heart was pounding. It was overwhelming, and she walked out and just belted it. She started singing live from a very young age, but it was time for her to take the next step into something big. Soon, Grammy-nominated producer Mark Carmen heard Kenzie sing, and it was then he decided to sign this beautiful voice. She signed a recording contract with Carmen and recorded her first album, Simple Gifts, in Nashville. Kenzie was just five years old when she told her mother what she wants to be, of course, a famous singer. For Kenzie, everything she's experiencing is nothing more than a dream. I'm actually here, I'm not in a dream, this is for real, Kenzie spoke during the interview. Chuck, who gets overwhelmed by all of this attention as being a normal family, is proud of his daughter and according to him, she deserves all of this. As we told you, she wanted to change the world through her voice. She makes sure she spreads the Christian message. Whenever she gets the time, she is there to spread the message. She thinks it's her duty to spread it to all because of God. She has got this precious gift that has changed her life. I need to help them because God helped me and through God, I can help them," Kenzie said in an interview. As they say, an act of kindness can travel the seven seas, making it audible by every person on this planet. Kenzie made sure she does that every day. And the feeling of your heart melting message spreading is the most amazing feeling a person could ever feel. 
Who would have thought that things would shape in such an amazing way? An old grandfather clock made Kenzie discover her true natural talent. She was left alone in a paper box. But God kept watching over her for the time being. And soon she found a new family who made sure she gets all the love in the world. The story of struggle, love, and family has inspired several people all around the globe. We are grateful we got the chance to hear this story that has so much to teach the world and the people in it. The struggle she has gone through shouldn't have been there in her life in the first place. But thankfully, Chuck and Kim were there who made her life living heaven. But is it even possible for a kid to start singing after hearing a sound? There have been several research studies that prove that if a baby listens to a particular kind of music, they have found that they learn things faster. When a baby gets accustomed to one particular note, his mind also gets trained to react on that note, and that helps the baby concentrate more. Amazing, right? What is Kenzie up to today? Today, Kenzie is a singing sensation. She has recorded several songs, and some of the famous ones are Heaven Come Down, King of True Love, Definitely You, Everybody Sing, and many others. The girl who was abandoned by her biological parents is today ruling the world through her magical voice. Even being a famous singer, fame never went over her head. She is proud of herself, but she knows what all she has seen in her life. If Chuck and Kim wouldn't have been there, then who knows where she would have been today. Kenzie, being an adopted child, loves spending time with other orphan children and makes sure she spends some quality time with these kids. Kim and Chuck get very emotional when they hear how thankful their daughter is to them. People like Chuck and Kim prove that good is still out there in the world, and acts like this bring our faith back into humanity. Kenzie says that whatever she is today, it is because of her parents. We wish a great life for the Walker family. May her voice keep spreading the magic into people's heart. Chuck and Kim's act touched hearts when they read about the real story of a baby girl found in a paper box who changed the world through her special voice.